Sorry, Joe. Well, you've had a brilliant experience with Amy here, as yeah. a student nurse. What other professionals do you think could benefit, students could benefit from a placement here at, at Cornwall Race? Um, I mean, me personally, I think anyone who's undergoing training that's going to be working as part of the care sector, whether that's a physio, an OT, a paramedic, even a GP, I think should come and spend some time working in a care home. I think being in this environment, seeing people as they really are, and not when they come into hospital and they're, they're poorly, they've got a medical condition, but actually seeing people who they are is actually so important as part of their ongoing training. And I think moving forward, that that will then benefit them and the people that then go into hospital, that they've already had that experience and almost know how to uh, manage people, how to care for people and not just the medical emergency, that they're actually caring for the person. Yeah, no, really valid points. Do you think some of these um, healthcare professionals that we work with could benefit from what seeing goes on right to the other side of the door? Behind, behind the social care door, if you like? Yeah, I mean, one of the problems I always find is that when I talk to people on hospital wards, they really don't have an understanding of what happens in a care home. Um, I think they think that we have our own GP that lives here, that we have our, our magical cupboard, that we can just go and get the medications and the continence aids and the walking frames. Um, they don't understand that as a care home, we have to go through quite a long process yeah. to actually get what people need. And it isn't just going up in the lift to a different department and going, can I have this please? Mm -hmm. um, and so I think having a bit more understanding of what happens in a care home and the people that we care for um, would just help to bring us all together. I, my own personal feeling is that there's a lot of disrespect for care home staff, mm -hmm. um, that they feel we don't really know what we're doing a lot of the time, mm -hmm. um, which I take great offence to, I have to say. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just want us to work together to collaborate. So All that I'm interested in is that the people that I care for get the best care. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's not a fight and it shouldn't no. be this is your job, that's your job. I just want them to be looked after. Yeah. I, I don't think that's too much to ask and that we, there should be just a mutual respect between all professionals. And the collaboration together, I... I, I so understand what you're saying and i fully i mean the most amazing thing is that people have multidisciplinary team meetings yeah we're the only part of that team that doesn't get invited to them so how is it a multidisciplinary team meeting if the people that are actually providing the daily care aren't part of that and i think we're going to see some changes with with these integrated care systems that are now coming on board yeah. with, um, and health and social care coming under the same heading yeah. as we move forward into next year and hopefully some of these um, challenges that yeah. you're talking about now and I totally understand where you come yeah. from having been in the yeah. service myself. I mean I'm um, open to being involved yeah. with whoever and whomever you know if, if this is going to improve. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm completely open to that. Absolutely. Well, we've kindly started at the beginning <laughs> by getting <laughs> students in yes. when they're there because to make a change, it has yeah. to change from the start, doesn't it? So we're looking at um, OT students, physio yeah. students, paramedic students, dietetic students. Yeah. I think we've actually got a music therapy student yeah. that, that will be going out next year. So it's very, very exciting. Yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to it. And, and to get students out when they're learning at the start of their career, it's going to be our future workforce. And yeah. hopefully some of these challenges that you're talking about are going to be resolved. Yeah. There. So yeah. It's, it's exciting times. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Thank you.